my name is Puru or Puru Luru and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a Puru Luru's playtime. Well, actually I'm getting ready for my friend's engagement party. So I thought let's sit down and do a full get ready with me. It's been a while since I've allowed myself unstructured play with my makeup. So I'm excited. So I've already laid down the Mecca sunscreen and just let that settle in. Going on the Smashbox. This is just my poor primary one. And then I'm gonna go in with the Veil Hourglass Primer. I'm nearly finished. I really want to find a way oh, to see if I actually like if the primer works. And I'm not sure how to go about testing it. Like I can try it with all my different foundations and see how they last. Um, the best, but it's hard for me because then if I have a day off from work. Sometimes I just want to veg out and do nothing. Like if I'm going to work, I can't do check-ins or any of that sort of stuff, but I can come back at the end of 12 hours. Um, and then like, I don't really look at my face unless I go to break quickly for a couple minutes. So it's hard for me to pinpoint when it breaks down. All right, and now that we've got that one done, let's go in with Long Home Tain Doll Ultra. Yeah, so I've tried to do a lot of three looks, one, three looks, one palette videos lately. And they kind of like, I find they're a bit hmm, soul sucking sometimes. I enjoy doing them and I enjoy like the level of creativity, but the sitting down and editing it, oh my God, so boring. <laughs> um, especially trying to get it down to like a nice amount of time. Because like, I don't wanna, like, you know, I want it to be good. I don't wanna bore you guys. So I find it really hard to figure out like the best way to go about what I wanna do. Does that make sense? Does that make any sense? No, probably not. I find it hard to get really inspired when I'm using the same palette a lot. I wish I like I wish I had the drive to do it. I just I think for me I just can't do it as often as I've been trying. And I get pretty I get like really annoyed when the eyeshadow doesn't live up to what I expected. Like in my Paulina video. I was super annoyed at that green. I still am, I'm still really annoyed at the green. I'm the <laughs> I didn't do a review on that video because solely because of that green. It made me so mad. And because it wasn't, like the palette is beautiful. And it did work really well. It's just that the green wasn't the shade that I was expecting from the picture I, like I had seen. And then the Arkeo palette, I've sat down and filmed the first look with that, which is this one. And in this look, what she's done is she's put this shade and this shade together. But they don't look like this. That's not the shades that they are. I'll show you what shades they are. So, it's these two shades, Monolith and Dead Sea. And then that's what's on the outer corner there. And I don't get how she made it so dark. Because when I mix them, it just doesn't, mm, it's not pretty. And I did that look and I had to go somewhere, but I had absolute faith that it would be fine because Angelica's eye looks are amazing. I was like, oh, it'll be totally fine. But then I had like purple, bright blue, purple. Like it just, it just didn't look good. It wasn't a pretty look. And like I get, I don't know, yeah. So like I'm just as a person very easily discouraged, I'd say. Um, and I did try and go back and find Angelica's original video because I assumed there'd be a video for each of the three looks. But there wasn't. There was just one video with one look. Um, and it wasn't that look. So I'd love to know if you've seen anyone recreate the looks from the box. And what they thought. I'll finish it, but I'm still annoyed at it, so I'm taking a break. It's just that what you see online isn't always, like, accurate. Which, I mean, yeah, you've got to expect that to a certain degree. But I also just, like, I don't know. I expect when I see a colour on use colors in your video that they're gonna be like the same that I'm not gonna be disappointed and I expect that looks are gonna work and like I don't mind if it's because I did it but when you're trying to recreate someone and it doesn't come out how I wanted that annoys me so much more um, let me know if you've got any like makeup fails or if you're like as easily discouraged as I am it's like sometimes yeah like, first world problems all the way and then makeup problems, which are like my favorite problems to have. Just 
So we're doing the foundation brush and we're going over that. Alright, and KKW contour stick. But I've also been super distracted this week. Um, just readjusting, like, it's sort of hard for me to come back from Adelaide and return to my Brisbane life where, like, I don't really have, like, any friends or family or anything here. Like, I have my boyfriend and he's amazing, but it's just hard. Um, so I've just been a bit down in the dumps about that as well. And I'm readjusting and, like, we're going to this lovely couple's engagement party today, which I'm pretty excited about and super, super nice of them to invite us. So I'm going to go in with setting powder all over my face now. Uh, Maybelline Coral Sensation in pink gold. And Jeffree Star in Romeo. Alright, so we've laid down the base for most things. Let's go and do some eyes. So I'm like guaranteed I'm going to get oily today. So I'm going in with Too Faced Shadow Endurance. I have nearly used my travel size all up. And I'm just going to do like a really thick layer. Hmm. I'll just stop recording. Anyway, I'm just going on my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre over the top. And tapping it in. And having spoken about the Arcade palette, I'm going to dip into that today. But I'm going to go free range and do whatever I want. I don't really know what I want to do. Alright, well, let's put a fragment down as a nice little base. Um, yeah, anyway, I got really into watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine this week. Um, and uh, I went from never watching it to watching five seasons. I thought it finished at the fifth season, and then I found out it doesn't. So I got cliffhangered. And I guess I've got to wait for Netflix to release the next seasons. Oh, it's super annoying. Um, and then Grace and Frankie just came out. Yeah, I managed to watch all of that. I'm just going to go in lightly with Nomad, just lace yellow, with that same brush. And I just want to bring this lightly up the top. I'm going to move this into a cool toned area and go into Lichen, this one here. And I'm just going to place this on the edge here. Alright, and dipping back into Fragment, I'm just going to Bring that further up here. Alright, so let's go in a little bit with my Colourpop No Filter in Fair 00. zero. Alright, I swear that, like, looking up trip <laughs> never works for me. I try so hard. Alright, and then I'm going to go into Glyph, which is this stunning, like, purple blue duochrome. Alright, so let's just make a little spritz in. And then going in with the Morphe M149. I'm gonna go in with the shade Neo. Alright, cool. So let's wipe off that powder from underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with Dency. With that same brush from Morphe. This is from Annette's like favorite brush book, brush video I think I saw. Um, that's still like one of my favorite brush videos I've seen. You should definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. It's just she has such good recommendations for tiny little work. And then we're gonna go back into the light chin. Just can't be bothered picking up the palette for you again. And I want to sort of use that color to dull this down to a more cool toned blue and bring it up. All 
All right, and let's go over with a clean blending brush and use my Wayne Goss in number six. All right, and let's see if I can get that powder off. I think what I'm gonna have to do is go into a black. Can you sort of see what I've done? Uh, there's no black in here. So I'm gonna go to my Inglot and my J325. Now I'm just gonna put that on the Wayne Goss brush and just a little dim. We just gonna need another color to bring it back a bit. So let's go back to the IKEA. I'm gonna go into erosion. Because it's latching in my crease, but it's come out looking like I'd expect erosion to look. Oh, that is very different. Alright, right. Mm. All right. unfortunately, this eye, the black's not blending well. Let's try one more. Oh, let's try the Sony G. The Sony G, we haven't tried that yet. Um, but I've been informed. I've only got half an hour left now. So I'm just going to go on this clean. And I just want to use it to sort of whirl it all around. Um, and now I'm feeling nervous because I'm like, was this the day for me to go all out like this? <sighs> Do you want to go to a party where I don't really know anyone going? I don't. No, I don't really know anyone going. But oh, we'll have fun. We see that black's just completely gone. All right, I'm gonna pick up some more black. And I just would love it to stay there. Alright, I'm going to tap some black in. It, there's just something going on in my eye. That's not holding the colour. I think I'm just going to give up. Yeah, I do. There's nothing else I can do. Alright, I'm just going to go in with my finger. With Glyph. I just wasn't able to get a good... I'll bring you in and show you. I couldn't get it to come to the bottom line as well as I wanted. There we go. We're still a little bit tight lining. Fancy flat liner. Alright, so let's go in with some bronzer. I'm gonna go in with Laguna from Mars. Oh, with my stippling brush for some reason. And then going in with deep throat. Marceline, what are you doing? Right, and then I'm just going to go in with this highlighter, the Smashbox Bladder Highlighter. Oh my god, I nearly forgot to do my brows. I'm a disgrace. Well, let's go and do them now, and let's do some Anastasia Dip Brow. Alright. How are we going? I didn't do hair. Shit. I feel like we need a little bit more highlighter. And let's spray. And we just need to go in eyelash curler. And Lancome Hypnose. Oh, waterline, I forgot that. I am feeling stressed right now. Is this more stressful than the mirror makeup challenge? No, I just have to keep telling myself that. Alright, that's it, I think. I feel like we need a little bit more blush. Let's go in with this one from this one. Waterline. Waterline, waterline. Um, lavender. I'm going in with Crybaby. Alright, let's bring you in. Alright, I'm gonna quickly straighten my hair and then I might come back for a final whoop whoop. See you in a sec. I think I'm ready. Wish me luck. Um, it's a really fancy engagement party we're going to. I'm hoping. I'm hoping I'm dressed okay. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it. I adore you. Oh.